Hello there, this is Dame and Mikas, and today I'm going to tell you something about digital artwork and editing colors. As an artist I get the same question over and over again. How do you do that with those colors? They work together so well. Can you pa really paint like that? Well, the truth is, I can't. Nobody can. We can't get the colors right. The few artists who can, they're experts. I'm not. So I have a few simple tricks up on my sleeve, which I use to get the nice color effects I always use for my artwork. And I'm going to show them to you. This is an artwork I've been working on. It's, um, well, something digital. And it's okay, but I don't like the colors that much yet. So I'm going to add a few filters and bring out the colors a bit more so it looks more balanced. Um, what I always start with is using adjustment layers. Adjustment layers are great because um, well it doesn't really change the artwork. You have a, a filter on it and you can change it anytime you want. I start with a, usually start with the levels. So I make a new fil filter, it's called levels, and I move the slider up and down a bit until I'm satisfied. I want to make it a bit less dark, so only a tiny little bit is enough. See, it's only a subtle difference. So I hope you're having a good screen, otherwise you won't be able to see it. Uh, a good screen is, by the way, great for this kind of work, because if you have a really bad computer screen, you won't be able to see the difference. So make sure you have a pretty decent screen and have it calibrated uh, well. Um, what I add next is another adjustment layer. Photoshop has um, photo filters built in, I think from version CS3 or something. And those are great if you want to bring out certain colors a bit more. I'm going to add another photo filter. And I want to bring out the blue of this character a bit more. So I start with a cooling filter. I think you have, you have many preset filters. I like this one most, I think. Uh, as you can see, the artwork is pretty blue right now. And I like this effect, but only for the character. I don't want the sky to be t so blue. So I'm going to alter it a bit. Uh, with each adjustment layer comes uh, automatically a mask. And you can use it to include or exclude certain parts of the drawings. I'm going to paint my mask black so it excludes everything and then I'm going to use a brush to include the parts that I want. So I'm going to find myself a nice soft brush. Um, I can vary in size and I'm going to paint over a bit, maybe a bit more. So this side of the drawing becomes a bit more blue. Well, this is fine, I think. Um, adjustments layer have uh, sliders also, so you can make it less apparent or more apparent. Well, I like the blue actually. I like it a lot. And as you can see, it works uh, best on the character because I've got a lot of blue in there and the air isn't that blue. So what I want to create is a nice contrast in this drawing. So I want to bring out the yellow of the sky a bit more and have a, have a better contrast that way. So I'm going to add another photo filter. And I'm going to use a yellow, yellowish preset. I think it's this one. And I'm going to do the same thing what I did with the other photo filter. I'm going to exclude everything and then paint it in again. So I want the yellow parts of the sky to stand out a bit more. And I want the towers to be a bit more yellowish. So I'm going to paint it over. If you can see here, you see what the, what the white parts are the ones that you included and the black part are the ones you excluded. You can see exactly where I painted. 
It's pretty funny actually. And I like this. Yeah, I really like this. Well, it could have been enough now, but I always like to add a bit of surprise into a drawing, so I'm going to add another photo filter and use another color. This usually takes a bit of experimenting before you're nice and handy with this. this so don't be afraid to make mistakes and try some color combinations you don't know yet because that might be awesome. Yeah, I like a bit of orange here. Not too much. Like this. And see it's it's a bit more contrast, I like that. So well you can add more colors, maybe I will, I don't know yet, but this is basically what I do in every artwork I make. It's very simple, only four filters and the effect is really awesome. I will show you the difference. I put them all in a directory and... See, this was the original drawing, the one without the filters. And this is the one with filters. Looks way better. Well. This was it. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video and have fun trying out this. It's really cool. Bye-bye. <laughs>